I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! Why do you get an umbrella? Um, because I deserve it. No fighting, no fighting. Soldiers, fall out, get to work, fall out, get to work. Trainee, trainee, please come stand right here. Yes. Good. What are you doing? Get up here. Today, soldier, you need to be training our trainee on, excuse me, Gaston, excuse me, Gaston. I need you to be training him about the breastplate of righteousness. Can you handle it, Sergeant? Yes. Get to work. Don't worry. I'm all over it. All right. Okay, I hope you're done with your training. Soldiers, soldiers, immediate supplies are needed back there where the troops are working. They're hot, they're thirsty, they're hungry. You two, help each other. Go back there and give them supplies, but you need to help one another. You got this? You guys, you two can handle it? Let me see, let me see. Okay, they're strong enough. They can handle it. Okay, you know what? This is pretty easy for me. It's not a two-man job. How about you just sit here and look pretty? You know what? Actually, I, I kind of need that. Ooh. Hey there. Can oh, you put those uh, chips down for a minute? I'd like to talk to you. Do you know anything about ants? Why would I know anything about ants? Well, I'm here to tell you. It seems like you're pretty proud of yourself. Am I right? Ants, yeah, well, ants, I deserve it. Ants have a lot to be proud of, let me tell you. We are the superheroes of the insect world. We are incredibly strong compared to other creatures our size, and we have super senses. We never give up. Ants are outstanding engineers and fearless soldiers. Even though we have a lot to brag about, though, we don't. Instead, we're thankful to God who gave us these abilities. Ants devote their whole lives to working for the good of the colony. That means an ant puts others first before themselves. Ants work together and take care of each other. Ants have armors, much like your breastplate of righteousness. Uh, you mean this crappy old thing? Yes, this is our breastplate of righteousness. You know, an ant has an exoskeleton and it protects us. And it's a hard body covering and it fits perfectly to an ant's body and supports and protects the ant. God has given you a breastplate of righteousness to protect you and support you. And one of the things um, about the breastplate of righteousness, it means that you live in the right way and that you appreciate your fellow soldier. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to show concern for them. And that way, when you face danger, you have the protection of your fellow soldiers. Once, when my ant friends needed to get from one branch to another, there was this huge gap that they couldn't get across. You know what they did? They worked together, and I even have a picture of it here to show you. Come on in, guys, look at this. See how they strung their bodies together to get from one leaf to another? That wow. took a lot of cooperation, True. didn't it? Wow. Yes. Sweet. So, that's what putting up, that's what righteousness looks like, living right. If you're going to use your breastplate of righteousness, you must let God's righteousness shine in your life. Act right by not boasting, by listening to your commander, and by treating others with kindness. Will you put away that mirror and put on your breastplate of righteousness? Mm. The choice is yours, soldier. Oh, we're oh, proud of you. Yes, yes. Put it on and use it. Here, I'll help you. The ants will march 
marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stopped to suck his thumb. They all go marching down to the ground. Hello again, and welcome to Cooking with Big Len. I have three friends with me today. I have Little Nin, I have Chef Lucas, and I have Miss Charlotte. And today we're just going to do a simple little craft. It's called uh, making a dirt cup. And so what you first of all want to do is take your uh, chocolate snack pudding that's in your kit, and you want to open the top. You don't want to waste any here, right? Okay. Need some help? I think you might. Can little Lynn help you? You want me to help you? Yeah, that's the right place, huh? These are hard to get open sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta fork it open. Well, while they're working, what I'll tell you now is that we're gonna put some dirt inside of our pudding cups. And we're gonna do that with Oreos, and I'll show you how to make the Oreos in just a minute. But the first thing that I found is often you need to take one little spoonful out of your pudding cup because they're a little full. So you might want to do that. One spoonful out. And then what we do is we put our Oreos in a bag and if you have a rolling pin, you can take a rolling pin to crush these or you can grab a spoon and go like this. Now, whichever way your parents uh, appreciate or approve of, that's how you should do it. And don't make a mess. Miss Charlotte, anything you want to say at this point? Chef Lucas? All right, so we have our pudding, and we have our um, Oreo crumbs, and we're making it look like it's dirt. And then inside this little dirt cup, we're going to put a few worms to make it really look like dirt. You guys are a little behind. You need some help over here? Um, no. And Nin's eating all the marshmallows still. All right, you want some dirt in your cup, girl? Don't want Miss Charlotte, you want some dirt in your cup? Please. Dirt in your cup. Put you a few worms in. in. Lucas, you want dirt in your cup? Yes, please. All right, let's get some dirt in your cup. Evidently, little Lynn's not much help, I guess, Chef Lucas. Well, today is just a simple little craft called a fun dirt cup. So thanks for joining us on Cooking with Big Len, and enjoy your summer Bible adventure. Lucy got creative here.